Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on another video. I hope you're all doing really well. So it's a little bit late this video. I've been meaning to go through all the things I picked up at the Festival of Quilts. Um, it was two weeks ago at the NEC in Birmingham, but I've been really busy since then. So the weekend after that, I went to Crafty Sewing Camp, which I'll talk a bit more about um, later on. And you may have already seen my vlog from camp. If not, go and check it out. Um, but yeah, so I had camp and then I've been dog sitting for a friend for the last week. So I haven't been at home. Um, that's why I probably look really tired because I've been having to wake up early to sort the dog out. So I'm going to go through everything I bought or acquired at the Festival of Quilts. Um, I've forgotten what's in here really, so this is going to be like a lucky dip for me and you. Um, but let's get started. So first thing, a quilting magazine. There was the Quilters Guild at the show. They had a few stands and some information about the guild and they were giving away these magazines which have lots of pictures of beautiful quilts in. Um, I am a bit of a quilter, I've dabbled. I've um, made a few quilts um, as gifts for people but I'm not by any means a proper quilter. Um, God, these are so nice, look at them. So I really enjoyed going to the show and seeing different styles of quilts, um, getting ideas for things I could make. Um, they're so clever, like they had so many um, different styles and like people making proper art out of quilt. I know all quilts are art, but you know, they're just amazing. And some of the techniques, I'm like, I just want to copy everything you've done. So I'll have to have a flick through that. Um, also from the Quilters Guild, if I can find them, they were giving out these cards slash quilts for a donation. So I put some money in their donations pot and they're like mini quilts that you can use as gift cards or like cards for people, greetings cards. So that one's got stars on. That's like a wave design. And this one's lovely. It's like different purples and blues with decorative stitching on. And I really love that idea, especially when you think how many scraps you get from dressmaking or quilting, doing something with them and then giving it to someone. They could use that as a coaster, they could frame it, they could pass it on to somebody else. And I think that's a really lovely idea. I really want to start doing that a bit more, um, making mini quilts or, you know, mini crafts and giving them as gifts because people are more likely to keep that than a normal greetings card. Um, and they're just really beautiful. They had so many, so I picked those three. And also I'm hoping to make a mini quilt for a friend soon. And I thought these would give me a bit of ideas. I can examine them and see what techniques I've used. So yeah, they're really lovely. I'm really happy with those. Then I got some greetings cards. These are printed, but they're prints of applique. So if you look on the back, you can see there's five designs. Um, I think they're plain. Yeah, they're blank. So you could give them again as birthday cards or thank you cards. I like having cards in a stash for when I need them. So I really like those. Uh, I can't remember where I got most of these things from, by the way, so sorry about that. Uh, this one is called Amber Makes. I'll link it below. Um, she had a nice stand with lots of applique things, so I'll link those. This is a little purse makeup bag, I guess, thing I got at a Tombola. I can't remember the stand it was on, but they had a little Tombola, which was a pound ago, and then if you won, you could pick something like a bag or a case that they'd made. So I like this one obviously because it's rainbow and I love colors. Um, and I can, I don't know what I'm gonna keep in here. Pens maybe, or if you go on holiday, you could put your makeup in there. I really like that. It's very me, this rainbow color. Uh, what are you? Oh, this is a discount code for the company. I won't share it because it might be exclusive, but it's a nice little shop by the looks of it. Um, what are you? Oh, I got this fabric. I wasn't planning on buying fabric. When do I ever? I wasn't definitely not planning on buying dressmaking fabric at a quilting show, but this was from Roy's Material World. I think he's in Leicester, uh, Leicester Town Centre by the market. And he had this draped over a bolt by the stand. And I kept looking at it, kept feeling it. It's so nice and it's really like silky. It's beautiful. It's a viscose. 
and it just has like Italian, I think it's supposed to be Italy, designs on it. I saw someone at the crafty camp wearing a dress made in this, so it looked really nice made up. There's like some cars, some ladies having coffee. Yeah, I just loved it. Um, I think you can, oh, it's, yeah, it's got English text on it, but I don't know where it's supposed to be, but it's giving me Italy vibes. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking for this, I bought a meter and a half and I'm thinking a skirt. So over the summer, I've been feeling the lack of swishy, ma can't get my words out, swishy midi skirts in my wardrobe. So I think maybe something like the sew over it, is it the rosy skirt? There's a free ruby skirt, ruby? Yeah, I think it's ruby. There's a free skirt pattern from Sew Over It, which is like slightly gathered and midi length. Or um, I have a dress pattern with a pleated skirt that I like. So I might take the skirt pattern and make it into a skirt, not a dress. Um, we'll see how much I have. Hopefully a meter and a half will be enough. But I just think, you know, if you go on holiday and you wanna swish around with some sandals and a, I'm doing this, this is what the skirt will do. Um, I think this will work really well. So yeah, I was really pleased with that. Um, he did a great job of selling it to me. I was umming and ahhing, and there seemed to be a lot of this fabric on the stand. I saw at least two bolts of it. So I said, oh, you know, I do really like it, but at least you've got a lot of it. Maybe I'll come back and think about it later. And he said, oh, I've already sold a hundred meters of that. And I was like, take my money. So yeah, that was the only dressmaking fabric I bought. Um, and then what else? I bought two overlocker cones. They're light blue. They were a pound each. I make a lot of blue things, so thought that would be useful. And um, a pen. Can't beat a free pen. Is that all apart from this? Oh, I bought this. This is um, netting for shadow applique. So the way that works is you applique onto a piece of batting this lady was making mini quilts so they were about six by four inches and then you put your applique fabrics on and then you put the net over the top and then quilt over it and it keeps all your fabric in place and you can't really see it because it's very fine and um, there were different colors so there was white cream and blue so it depends on what color you're going for but i thought because of this mini quilt i want to make for my friend it's mostly blues, so I thought this might work well. We'll see. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, I bought these labels. Um, they say made at a retreat and they're by Sarah Hearts. Sarah Hearts has such nice labels. So they have a little suitcase on. Um, yeah, so there were eight in here. And then when I got to Crafty Camp, because I thought I'll use these at camp, um, so Eco Fabrics was there and they were selling packs of two. So I probably could have just got away with two, but you know, I'm going to keep going to sewing retreats. So I think they're a good thing to have and maybe I could swap them with somebody. Um, yeah, I think they're really, really pretty. And, uh, last but not least, I saw these really soon after I got there because they had a stall quite near the entrance and I was really, they had um, a sample on their stand and I was really, really tempted. But I thought, I'm, I'm going to go around the show, think about it, see how much money I have left. I had some birthday money, so I didn't feel so bad about buying these. But it is a sneaker kit by What The Fabric. That's the name of their shop. So yeah, they had a sample in my size sewn up and they were so comfortable. I'll put the picture in. They're really comfortable. I think because the top is quilted and quite lightweight fabric, it was a cotton. They were so much more comfy than any other sh trainers I've ever tried on. And I really struggled to buy shoes because I've got quite wide, big feet. So I thought, I'll make my own. So in the kit, you get a little postcard, some thread and a needle. That's like waxed thread. Um, the um, bottom of the shoe, that has a name, so sole, I guess. Um, I picked white, but you could get black and tan, I think. Um, you get an insole. They're really comfy and really nice and cushioned, which is good. Uh, is that it? Oh, and you get this um, batting. It has a proper name, but I don't know what it is. This is the batting you use for the upper of the shoe. So you would quilt this with your inner and outer fabric. 
Um, and then you go on their website to download the pattern. And so, yeah, so all you need yourself is eyelets and the fabric. They were selling the eyelets and the tool with it, but I thought I had some eyelets at home. And I'll show you what I got from camp. This was on the swaps table. So these eyelets were on the swaps table, so I got these for free. They're gold. I might have gone with silver if it was my choice, but they were free, so I can't argue with that. So they are the eyelets that you need for the upper of the shoe for your laces to go in, and there's a tool with it. So I saved a bit of money using these. So that was a bonus. Yeah, so that was everything I got at the quilting show. Um, it was really good. I'm so glad I went. I wasn't sure if it would... I mean, I really like quilts, but I thought, you know, if it's not dressmaking, maybe I won't like it that much. But it was amazing. There was so much to look at, so many quilts to wander around and look at because they have a competition in different categories and they pick like judges choice and things like that. So there were hundreds of quilts to look at. And then all the shops were really beautiful as well. I could have spent hundreds of pounds if I'd let myself. But yeah, so if you ever get the chance to go, I really would recommend it. Now onto what I got at Crafty Sewing Camp. So at camp, there was a swaps table for fabric, notions, patterns. There was a rail for swapping garments and there were a couple of shops as well. So there was Manisha who was selling Indian fabrics and trims. There was um, Rosie from Sew Eco Fabrics who was selling some of her beautiful fabrics and labels and things like that. And then Crafty So-and-So had a little section with some of their fabrics and tools and things like that. So there was plenty that you could pick up. These are just in no particular order because I've dumped them in a bag and haven't sorted them. Let's see what I got. So I asked on our WhatsApp group um, for scraps of grey, blue, green fabric because of this mini quilt I want to make my friend. So a lovely lady called Sarah has given me some of her scraps. There's some nice greens and blues and greys in there, so thank you to her. I've got some green jersey that was on the swaps table. I think I've got two pieces of this somewhere. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, it's going everywhere. So I have another piece in here. This is a bundle. Um, it's just like a cotton jersey. Why does the doorbell ring every time I'm filming a video? It's the same neighbour who bought me strawberries that time and he's bought me a load of beans. So <laughs> it's almost like he knows when I'm filming a video. This doesn't happen that often, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so where was I? Green jersey. Um, I don't know how much is there. Maybe I'll make a little top, t-shirt, um, bralette, something like that. But I like this colour. It's like a minty, very pale green. Happy with that. This has a load of fabric in it from the swaps table, so more of that green, which is good. I might be able to get a t-shirt out of those. Um, some grey blue cotton, which I thought I could use for the my quilt, my mini quilt. Um, this jersey. I have a friend who's obsessed with pineapples and she's got a little boy, so I thought maybe if I see her, I could make something for him. If not, it's super fun and I always can do stuff with jersey like I make them well, not a lot I've made a few of the axis tank by Sophie Hines and it's really comfy I love sleeping in it so oh my God. this would be nice to use for one of those or maybe I'll finally get around to making my own knickers who knows um this was from the swaps table I've seen this jersey before it's really cute um I don't know how much is there doesn't say say so, I don't know um thought that might be nice for pajamas or if I have any children I want to sew for like babies of friends this would be nice um selfishly I really want to keep it for myself so yeah add that to the jersey scraps remnants uh, collection this just a tiny little square oh that right way up yeah again I thought I could use it for my mini quilt um this oh i didn't say what i was wearing this was from the swaps table it's like a little crop top that i really like i think it was the person said it was self-drafted and then these are the sapphire trousers oh by tilly and the buttons they're a tiny bit snug on me 
but I took the set anyway. Um, so I can repurpose the fabric, it's really nice, it's a cotton. But uh, yeah, I'm pleased with this top. It's, uh, it's a bit like the top I was trying to make at the camp. I made the Reynolds top by Helen's Closet, but I'm just not keen on the shape of it. I think this has darts down here, so it kind of brings it in a bit more and it shapes it around the bust um, and the straps are a bit wider. So I prefer this one, but I do want to find a crop top pattern that I can use with all my kind of cotton remnants and viscose and linen and all those different remnants you have when you don't have much left. And it's nice for summer when it's hot. So I'll have to find out who made this and maybe see if I can copy it. It has a bit of, is that gathered? It has a seam down the front. I can't tell if it's gathered. But yeah, I really like this. I'm really happy with this. Um, you've seen my scrappy bunny in my vlog. This was the pattern I used. Willow Rabbit from Simply Sewing. It was really easy. I made it in about two and a half hours in the morning. Um, I did it all on the machine pretty much, apart from sewing the pieces together, like the limbs and the head on, um, and then embroidering the face. So that was nice and easy and would be very cute as a little toy or a gift or a child. Um, I picked up this t-shirt off the swaps rail. I haven't tried it on yet, but it's like a metallic B design. It's just a grown on sleeve t-shirt. I think it should fit. It looks about the right size. Um, might be good for a pajama t-shirt. Um, I got this cotton fabric off the swaps table. It's like um, Van Gogh inspired. I think this might have been in the So Haley Jane box once. Um, maybe that's where it came from. But again, thought it would be good for my mini quilt. I don't know if I said the mini quilt has, like the picture I'm trying to replicate has mountains and water in it. So this would be good for the water maybe or the sun in the sky. What else? Um, again, a scrap of cotton. I was thinking more of the green. I could use the green in my mini quilt. This fat quarter, is it fat quarter? I think so, yeah. I like this, I thought it would be useful maybe to make a makeup bag or a pouch or something if I ever want to make a gift to somebody or pocket linings um, for trousers and things like that. This is a panel, a Christmas panel, you know, like an advent calendar. So that's what it looks like, I'm assuming. Um, so I either want, picked it up to make that or to use the colours of the, the squares for something else because this is quite a nice green for the mountains of the quilt I'm making. Um, and there's like mustards and darker greens in there as well. So we'll see what I end up doing with that. Um, God, there's quite a lot in here. This was off the swaps table. It's 50 centimetres of what looks like could be a twill, like a viscose twill, or just a standard viscose, I'm not sure. Um, again, could be nice for linings. It's very soft. I don't know if I would make a top out of this. Is it my colour? I think it might wash me out a little bit, but yeah, it could be useful for a lining of something or pockets. Um, I got this cotton, which is really fun. It would be good for so fruity next year. It's got tomatoes on it and they're fruits. Um, this is one meter. It's a cotton, but it sort of has a bit of a um, muslin, linen kind of look to it because it's slightly off-white. So that's really cute. I wonder, ooh, a meter. Could I make a pair of shorts? Like the um, Danny shorts that I made at camp. They would look so cute in those. Or a bag, or like a bag lining but a pair of shorts would look so cute in that. Um, some more green fabric. I was really going in on the greens and the blues for my mini quilt. Um, it was just like maybe a fat quarter's worth there. Um, I got this, I think this is Christmassy, but I thought for the mountains and the trees on my mini quilt, I could use the little trees off this. And this is another jersey find. Does it say how much there is? I can feel a label somewhere. Where are you? 
I can hear the label, but I can't find it. Oh, where did that go? I don't know. I think it may have fell on the floor. Um, this is a jersey. It's got bees all over it. They're actually quite big and lifelike. Mm, seeing it in person, they're freaking me out a little bit. Um, but there was quite a lot there, and I could definitely make a t-shirt out of that. So I love to sleep in jersey pyjamas, so I thought that would be good for that. But yeah, I'm going to have to think if the um, the bees are a bit too realistic and uh, if I'm going to want to wear this. I didn't really think about that. It's so pretty with the flowers and everything, but I don't know. I'm just a bit funny about bees, so we'll see. Maybe I'll end up passing this along again, but I don't know. Would you wear that? That's quite big. That's like, I don't know. It's freaking me out a little bit. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe a twirl for something. If I have a jersey top or something I want to make, I could twirl it out of that. But it's so lovely. It seems a shame to use it for twirl fabric. But yeah, maybe a little too realistic, the bees on that. Um, I think this is the last thing. I got a bit of ribbon. This is, um, there's a name for this, is it? Grow grain? Gross grain ribbon? The kind that's really sturdy. I thought it just, could just come in handy for something like, I think people use it for stabilizing hems or waistbands, um, or you can use it for bags or tying up presents or something. I have a tin full of ribbon, so it's always good to have more. Uh, and that is it. So didn't do too badly, considering it didn't really cost me anything, most of this. Um, of course the, the quilt show stuff did, um, but like I say, it was birthday money, so don't feel too bad. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got. Let me know if you've been to the Festival of Quilts or if you've been to Crafty Camp. Um, and yeah, did you like the things I picked up? Would you, do you have any ideas for things I could make with the fabrics I've got? And yeah, just say hi, pop a comment down in the, the box below and I'll see you soon for the next one. Oh, and if you like seeing my videos and want to see them when I do post them, because I know it is a little sporadic, you can subscribe or um, and or click the alert button and like the video if you enjoyed it um, because it's just nice to know that people are enjoying me waffling for 20 minutes. Okay, have a good rest of your day and I'll see you again soon. Bye!